Hello, I am Dr. Sanjeev Gulati, Principal Director of Nephrology and Kidney Transplant at Portus Group of Hospitals, NCR. Today, let's delve deeper into the latest medicines addressing protein leakage in urine. So as we have told earlier, protein leakage in the urine is a symptom of kidney disease. Kidney contains a lot of filters, like T-strainer type filters. Their normal function is to get the excess water out. They remove toxins in the form of urine and keep the protein in the blood itself, i.e. by filtering it so that it does not leak. They remain in the blood which is needed for the growth of proteins. Protein leakage is a sign of chronic kidney disease. And it has been seen that if this protein leakage is reduced, minimized, or if it is closed, then the life of the kidney increases as much. Uh, that is why reducing protein leakage is a very important part of the treatment of kidney disease. As for the part, there have been some recent advances. There are some new drugs that we will discuss today. So overall, I will tell you how to reduce protein leakage. One is to identify its root cause. Whatever the root of protein leakage is, it often has to be biopsied. We don't do biopsy in diabetic patients. Even if the kidney becomes shrunk, we do not do biopsy, but there is root cause identification. What do we have to do with that? That's number one. We have to take less salt because the more salt we take, the more protein leakage will be. The number is two, blood pressure should be strictly controlled. Keep your blood pressure between 120 and 130. 140 blood pressure is also the upper blood pressure. Number three is more for patients who are experiencing protein leakage. Yes, if you have diabetes, you have to control diabetes because diabetes itself is the most important cause of protein leakage. Number four is that uh, some people have dementia, which includes IGNF, SGS, minimal change disease. They also have a treatment for a specific disease in which there are steroids and immunosuppressive drugs. Then we give them along and attempt to stop the protein leakage completely. At number five, comes a very important group of drugs which is called supportive drugs but chronic kidney disease which has irreversible kidney damage has these drugs that reduce protein leakage and in the last few years two new drugs have come so i'll tell you first the old medicine is still as important today number one comes an angiotensin receptor blocker this is a very old medicine that tightens the filters of the kidney and this is the first medicine when we see protein leakage. It is necessary to take a little precision in these that the potassium level can increase due to them. So to those who have potassium, we give these medicines in small quantities or once potassium is controlled. Number two is another blood pressure medication called calcium general blockers is spoken. It is a fourth generation calcium channel blocker that has three groups of drugs, cylinder pen, menad pine, aslindipine. These are also medicines for blood pressure. It also tightens the filters. So definitely discuss that if your protein is leaking, then we can use these calcium channel blockers with you at the second level. Number three is two inhibitors come in. Two newer classes of inhibitors, originally for diabetes, later proved effective in tightening kidney filters and reducing protein leakage. GLP-1 receptor drugs available as oral tablets have shown kidney protective benefits even for non-diabetic patients. It is also an oral tablet available for diabetes. Injection is not available in India. So, but now it has been seen that these non-diabetic patients also have this drug. It is protecting the kidney and that is the last medicine that we will tell you. Uh, this is especially for diabetic patients. In today's date, uh, this protein works for leakage, but with it, potassium also increases. 
So whenever you are taking such medicines, you have to make sure that the rest is the source of potassium, such as someone is taking crushed meat to clean the stomach or fruit juice, dry fruits. Do not take all of them. Salt also, you should take normal alternatives to salt. And uh, along with this, uh, check the potassium level periodically, then controlling the finished routine leakage is very important if we have to teach the life of kidney. And in today's date, we have five different classes of drugs. That's why we can do this. Along with this, there is control of diet in terms of salt restriction, control of blood pressure, control of blood sugar. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get the latest scientifically validated treatment. Thank you.